Hey folks, how you doing today? Uh, Ron Sholly here for Wright McGill and I wanted to talk a little bit about the Sabos um, reels that they're offering to anglers on the market today. A lot of people have been asking me to do a review of the uh, you know the Sabos reels uh, and I want to talk a little bit about um, what we're doing here. We are looking at both the fly reel and the spinning reel. Um, first of all, let's look at the fly reel, okay? Uh, it's one complete body cast of aluminum. It has um, a fantastic, fantastic um, drag system on it. What I've done is I put some nylon backing onto the reel itself. Probably could have uh, used a little more backing, but um, I prefer to have a, about a oh, about a quarter inch to maybe you know, almost half an inch of uh, space between the line and the outside edge of the spool itself. Um, here about a month ago, we were up in New York at a show, and we had used the, um, the fly reel um, up in New York for steelheads. It worked out quite well. One of the things I've been promoting here in the Northeast, a lot of guys know this, but we've been uh, ex experimenting with float fishing. Out West, it's, it's no problem, okay? We have a lot of people out West who uh, float fish, and uh, there's a huge array of reels and rods combinations that the guys are using. Here in the Northeast, we've been using predominantly the float rods and the, uh, the float reel. The problem with the float reel, okay, there, there's no drag on the float reel. You know, you're using your thumb to, as a brake on the line. Uh, some guys don't mind it. it for me, that, it just bugs me, okay? I, I, I would prefer to have a drag on the uh, reel. Well, that's why we're looking at the uh, Sabos here, the fly reel, um, catching steelhead and salmon up in New York. It worked out really well because I was able to uh, free line the line off, you know, adjusting the drag, I was able to free uh, free float the line off the reel without no backlash. And then real quickly, once we got a fish on, I could adjust the drag and it worked out really, really good. I absolutely recommend the fly reel, um, you know, with uh, a good uh, combination rod that Wright McGill offers uh, in their product line. They have a large variety of rods. Um, me, I personally recommend you know, around a 10 foot noodle, uh, medium heavy, uh, it's the best way to go if you're gonna do some float fishing with a fly reel. And I also like a longer rod too. Um, you know, we'll, talk, we'll be talking about that here in a minute. Uh, let's see, okay, kids, heads up, okay? Um, if you wanna go out and seriously, if you wanna buy yourself and it, this applies to all anglers okay if you're gonna buy you know if you're gonna spend your money you know buy a good combo okay you don't have to spend there's no reason you need to be spending you know a thousand dollars for a rod and reel but you know if you can afford around 150 to 200 dollars you can buy yourself a good combo right mcgill they have and what we're looking at right here, you know, the, the fly reel combination. But now moving on to the spinning reels, okay? Uh, now this is the saltwater reel that uh, it's in the series, the Sabo series. Uh, what, we're look, what we're looking at here is the, the model 6000, okay? It's the first in the, in the series of saltwater. I like it. Yes, it's a little bit big, but it is absolutely perfect for what I'm going to be using it for, okay? And that's for catching salmon and steelhead. Now you could probably drop down to probably the 4000 in freshwater series, um, you know, using a eight, eight and a half, nine foot uh, medium heavy to heavy rod, you'd be okay. But again, I like the bigger reel only because 
um, it holds more line and it's just that little bit of an edge I think um, just in case if I were to catch a really big one okay I'm not going to lose it um, it's durable but we're going to take a closer look here at the reel in a second and why I like it okay the reel let me let me just kind of go through the specs here on the reel uh, to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at all right the reel itself okay is all aluminum body cast aluminum okay there are seven plus one ball bearings in the reel an infinite anti-reverse it's got the sensor ABS front drag system which I like a lot uh, it's got a real thick aluminum power bale as you can see right there okay um, it's got the cut aluminum handle uh, forged aluminum spool it has anti-twist line ruler it's got a long life bell spring it has a soft touch handle as we can see right here and I like that big handle um, perfect for you know handling the big fish okay it's got an ultralight glass field nylon frame okay it is absolutely saltwater proven um, and again you know you and again even though it says salt water this can still be used in fresh water definitely now let's take a look inside the reel. I'm not going to I'm not going to tear it apart completely, but let's just take a look inside here and see what we have inside the uh, the reel. Now, let's look at this shaft, okay? That is a strong, strong center shaft on the reel. It'll definitely hold up its own. It's not going to bend if you get a nice fish on, okay? It has, a, like I said, it's got a really good drag system. Okay, it has a real good drag system. The gearing on it is really strong and durable. The inside of the case um, is waterproof. Nothing's going to get inside there. It's going to stay uh, completely dry for you if it does get wet. Strong aluminum body the whole way around. Handle uh, is, is it's tight, strong, durable, well made. Okay. Again, folks, um, are there reels out there that are more expensive? Absolutely. Okay. But again. Wright McGill, they've made some great strides lately in the product that they are offering to anglers. And again, they're reaching out to the weekend fishermen, hoping that you guys will, uh, you know, take a look at what they have to offer. Now, the Savo Shrills were rated uh, number one at uh, a number of fishing shows here in 2012. Another thing I was kind of intrigued by, the inside of the spool where your line your line holder your line goes your line um oh your line tether okay the spring loaded on the inside and again it's got a an, an all aluminum body to it very very durable the spool itself is well made well manufactured now let's take a look at the rod by Wright McGill okay the rod itself is, is using this is what they call the S-curve technology, okay? Uh, look it up online if you want to know more about it, but I have found that the S-curve rod series are super, and I, and I mean super sensitive, okay? Um, they're durable, and their ability to catch fish is, it's up there, and it, it I would say it ranks amongst one of the top five rods in the industry today. But again, it's got a great feature to it. The rod, this is the 10-6 uh, rod that we're going to be using. Now, it might be a little bit lighter um, for the saltwater 6,000 we have here. But 
it will do the trick. You know, this rod would probably be probably would be a good match with the uh, 4000 um, freshwater reel from Sabos. That would be a good match here because this is a medium rod. It's a noodle, um, and I love. I, I have preferences to noodles, okay, because they're really really sensitive. Yeah, sometimes they're a booger if you're walking through the woods to get to your favorite hole. But you know what? It's well worth it, okay. Okay, one of the things also I like about this rod is it, it, it is revolutionary when they make these rods. The rods have, like I said, this S-curve, the S-curve blank technology. Uh, it's reinforced with 1K high density woven graphite cloth um, from the fighting butt forward of the foregrip that adds 23% more hook setting power and fish fighting strength, okay? It is lightweight, stainless steel guys with their zirconian rings are lighter and won't crack, break, or groove when used in the new super braids. Now, when we talk about the braids, okay, a lot of the guys out there today, um, you know, are going to the braided line. There's a, a new line coming out now that's actually braided, but it's like a, a copolymer coating to it. Either way, that braid is going to slice through your your older style rings okay and if you can see on here these rings are beautiful I mean they're um, they're durable and they absolutely will last the test of time okay I like the buttstock on the rod um, and again the way the and I love this rod seat um, it it's strong uh, it's compact and holding this rod, it, it feels, it just feels natural whenever you hold it in your hand, okay? And I mean, I've used it before, and here in a couple of weeks, we're going to be taking it out to a few shows uh, and demonstrating it to whoever wants to see it. But um, in short, I just love it because the blank itself comes the whole way through the, the, the rod itself, and not this end where you can physically have your hand on the blank. Now, for the kids who are watching, now, why is that important, okay? Well, a lot of rods, you'll have, you know, your handle from the fore of the, the rod here, the whole way back is all cork, all right? So you're not actually feeling the sensitivity of the rod. This exposes the blank, and you're actually getting a more hands-on sensitive alert to that fish biting. If you're jigging, this is a fantastic, fantastic rod for jigging. A lot of guys who jig, I'm telling you what, it's well worth the... Uh, it's well worth you know the investment in this rod and and again when you get the rod if you do decide to go this direction okay um you know take the time you take it out uh you know buy buy a nice cover for your your rod and your reel uh keep them clean um do you know do the maintenance on them as needed okay guys uh that's about it uh if you get a chance take a look at the uh uh, the Wright McGill, the Sabos line, okay? Uh, either way you go on a spinning reel or the uh, fly reel, you definitely will enjoy what they have to offer. Uh, yeah, before I forget in closing, uh, here in 2013, we're already planning a lot of uh, fishing shows, a lot of fishing events. We are going to be taking some special needs kids out fishing for the day. Uh, Caroline Skiff donated their skiff that we've been using. And um, we want all the anglers to be, aw be, you know, be, be aware that we're going to be out uh, taking kids out. Uh, if you want to help us out, you know, feel free to shoot me an email. 
we definitely do need help, okay? And there's no doubt about it. Um, and I encourage everybody listening to just, you know, take a kid fishing, okay? Because today, uh, it, it's difficult to get these kids away from the computer, okay? Let's get them out, you know, let's go out as a family, let's go out fishing, have a good time, enjoy ourselves, and most importantly, and remember one thing, I, I, I tell, you know, I tell everybody this, okay? You know, you take a kid fishing, all right? I, I don't care, you know, take them out and catch panfish, all right? They, they 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 just love that, all right? I mean, they just love that to no end, okay? Um, and I'll talk to you guys later.